Hi, Dr. Travis. Thanks for having me on your show. Our pleasure. Um, re- recently, I've noticed I've been gaining weight. I'm having mood swings. I have really cold feet, and I'm even losing my hair. Do you think this could be my thyroid? I've heard a lot about thyroid problems, but what's the difference between hypo and hyperthyroidism? Well, you touched upon it earlier. Mm-hmm. Such a common condition, either hyper or hypothyroidism, particularly in women. Very common. So we've got the thyroid, which we have a little model here, and these are our vocal cords. This is our laryngeal cartilage. It sits in our neck like this, and here's a normal thyroid gland. We call it a piece of bow tie pasta that sits here and makes our main thyroid hormones, T4 and T3. Low thyroid, hypothyroidism, or Hashimoto's disease, is the autoimmune disease where this little guy is killed off by the body. What we know is that we can replace thyroid hormone pretty readily with supplements. Mm -hmm. And there are natural forms, there are unnatural forms, but synthetic forms, I should say. But the idea is we can replace this. The low symptoms are gonna be weight gain, fatigue, loss of hair. Some people will say that they actually have low libido and other aspects. High thyroid, that's called Graves' disease. High thyroid is also autoimmune disease where the thyroid starts going out of control overproducing thyroid hormone, and people on high thyroid hormone, actually we have to stop this gland from overworking and doing what it really shouldn't be doing. High thyroid, it's kind of like being on speed, the body's energy hormone. So people will say, I feel like I had five cups of coffee. I'm having heart palpitations. I can't gain weight. I'm actually hungry all the time. I can't sleep. So high thyroid and low thyroid have opposite ends of the spectrum. With yes. a little bit of bug eyed. And a little bit of bug eyed, although it doesn't happen in all oh, high thyroid. True. But both of them can be treated. And Letty, it's such an easy test to get your thyroid hormones checked. There's no reason not to because this is something that is, is I would never say anything is easily fixed, but really, you can improve a lot of the issues mm-hmm. you're dealing with if this is indeed a thyroid problem. Thank you so much for joining us and asking the question, Letty. Well, but, thank you so much. I appreciate it.